hello everyone today we will start a drawing environment of a solid works so let us start with a first we will create one simple part here so i will again sketch on this top plane just i will in add a extrude that is add a material here then you can add a just i will again add a sketch here you can directly sketch in between this command also you don't need to sketch outside i will again just add this let's say it is 150 mm click okay again to update just click on the rebuild so that it will be re updated okay so again i will provide a just provide fillet here provide a fillet to this faces and then i will click some constant radius i will provide i will again create a fillet here and here and then okay okay so now to create a drawing just i will go to new drawing and okay or you can directly from the part you can directly go to the drafting that is make drawing from the part so just first save this part so let's say drawing we we'll save it and now it will ask for a sheet format or size so just you need to select a standard format for your drawing so just i will create i will select this a3 ansi landscape view and then you can add a custom sheet size also you can add a width and height to use your custom size i will use a standard size here and then click okay so now at the starting it will again ask here to drag views on the drawing sheet so these are the standard views available so you can directly select this and drag on this graphics window or this uh, drawing sheet so and then again you can project this and you can project this so you can create a views in this way so i will delete this so again here there are there are two ways to place the view the first one is the standard three view so the three views are placed here standard three views are placed here and then again there is a option that is a model view so so now uh first you need to select the angle of projection for this sheet so now again just right click on this sheet and then go to the properties and then you can you can set this angle of projection angle of projection so by default that type of projection is third angle so now i will select this first angle projection and then i will create okay so now again to just uh, two types of placing of views first one is a standard views and second one is a model view so standard three view directly place all these three views and then i will again delete this so with this model view you can add a add a first standard view Just one by one. So first, you need to decide what view you want to add. So I will again add this as a front view, and then the projected view command is automatically gets activated, and then you can add this projected projected views also. So again, you can change the shading of this from this option. You can uh, select with the with the hidden lines. You can add here.
and then I will again add a side view. Similarly, you can add this view with the help of projection view option here. I'll delete this view. Just select the projected view. Select this. And select the just drag and drop. Again, I will go okay. So you see, you can create a views that is standard views you can place. If you want to add a isometric view, just double click on this, and then so select the isometric. And then you can add the isometric view. Again, similarly, there are two views that is a diametric view you can add. So you can add the diametric view and trimetric view also. So I will keep this as isometric view. So in this way you can place this views. And then click OK. So now we will see how to add a, how to add this auxiliary view. So for this first I need to At first, just add a incline. I will add a, a here a chamfer in this. So just for this, I will delete this fillet, and I will add a chamfer here because there is no meaning with the auxiliary view. To create with a straight vertical or horizontal edge. So now I will again go to the drafting. Just go to this drafting tool and just rebuild this so that it will get rebuilt and you get an auxiliary view here. So just I will select this auxiliary view and here it will ask for a select. Please select the reference edge to continue. Now I will select this reference edge here and then perpendicular to this that it will create a auxiliary view again here you can select a wireframe mode you can select a wireframe mode the second one is the hidden lines visible the third one is the hidden lines removed so no hidden lines will be showing in this and then the shaded with edges and then last one is the shaded only shaded without edges so i will create a wireframe so i will create a view with hidden edges so in this way you can create a view again for the scale of this view you can use this parent scale that is parent scale means it will take a scale from, from this view or if you want to use the sheet scale and you can custom your scale custom your scale so you can use your scale for this if i create a 1 by 2 then it will be created with a 1 by 2 scale so in this way you can create this auxiliary views again you can change the properties from go to the right click and go to the properties Again here, show hidden edges, so you will see the other setting here. Again you can change this scale from here, so let's say 1 by 8, or you can use the parent scale so that the scale of this front view and this view will be same. So here you can again flip the direction of this view, which I will Okay, so now this direction is getting changed here and now I will click OK. So in this way you can create a views. So there are two basically two methods these are the first one is a standard three view, second one is a model view and you can add a auxiliary view. So now in the next tutorial we will see the sectional view, align section view, detail view, broken out section and a break we will see in the next tutorial so please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any queries please comment below i will definitely try to solve each of them so thank you
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग